Boy, I'm not good at this. First of all, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. When time permits, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. Today, I am wearing the jacket I received a week ago and I have been riding in, in as you can see, fall conditions here in upstate New York. This is the Kemimoto heated jacket. And I've chosen this as a base layer for underneath my climb jacket because while that jacket is great, it's not at all warm and not even appropriate for the 45 degrees to 55 degrees we're experiencing right now. So give me a moment and we'll take a look at the jacket. The Kemimoto jacket is a waterproof shell with heating elements located here, 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 and in the back. Now, I would have preferred something with a little more chest when I was ordering, but anything that had the chest lacked the arms, and I was very concerned about that. Fortunately, when I did get a chance to ride this in 45 degrees, I found that it heated the inside of the jacket extremely well. That means the heating elements here work their way up. You know, heat rises, it makes sense. And the heating elements here not only keep my core warm, but it warms right up my chest. There was a less noticeable effect in the back, and I think that has to do with the fact that, you know, heat is escaping up and out of the jacket when I'm like this versus being trapped. But at no point did I feel my back was too cold. It was just noticeably not as toasty as I'm experiencing here. Now the jacket is controlled by this button right here and it turns on. Not sure if the camera can grab it. It defaults to red, which is the highest temperature. And honestly, it's the only temperature I have used. But there are two more where you can go ahead and click it down and then click it down again for lower temperatures. Again, it's fairly chilly here and I've just been keeping it on that. On the highest setting, I've ridden for two hours even without killing the battery, but looking at the battery when recharging it, I think realistically two and a half hours, probably the most I would get out of it on the highest setting. So if you're gonna be riding for longer, you may wanna try one of the lower settings. Now let's take a look inside at the battery providing the heating for this jacket. Inside on the left, we're gonna have a 5,000 milliamp battery connected to the jacket with a 7.4 volt connector. Take that out of the way. This has USB charging. Unfortunately, it is the older style USB. It's not gonna charge as fast as you would like, but it's not terrible. You can also go ahead and use this as something to charge other devices, like if you're out on the road, you don't need the heat as much, but your phone, it's got a connector for that. Uh, 5,000 milliamps, a little bit heavier than one would have expected for that, but it's a battery, so that's probably a good thing. Now let's take a look at the jacket itself. First thing I noticed about the jacket when I put it on was my thumbs got stuck on this. These are awesome. Not enough of my base layers have it. With this, my thumb is in place, my gloves slide up underneath, and there's not an issue at all. Been great. As mentioned before, this is a waterproof liner. It is probably not gonna be used as one for me because I do wear a waterproof coat, but I was mowing the lawn the other day and it did keep the wind out wonderfully while warming me. Now, another feature that I'm not personally going to use, but it does have a hood. So if you're interested in a hood, there you go. Me, I'm going to be wearing this on my motorcycle. That hood is going to be folded up as it was. We also have waterproof storage in the arms. If you are a patch person, there is Velcro to connect it. Another patch. In addition, we have pockets. This is where I'm storing the instructions which are remarkably good, but once you've read how to uh, charge the battery and take care of the jacket, it mentions a few things about cleaning. It is machine washable, so you don't have to worry about how are you gonna clean this thing. And it can be put in the dryer, just obviously take the battery out first. I did take this jacket on a ride yesterday and I wore it underneath my climb jacket. And I wanted to give you guys an idea of what it was like to have this as a base layer, because I think that's what most motorcycle riders are gonna do. This doesn't have any armor. It's definitely not safe to wear on your bike without your jacket.
Okay, welcome to beautiful fall in upstate New York. People travel from all over the Northeast to come up to this area of New York and right over the border in Massachusetts and Vermont to do what they call leaf peeping. So I hope you're catching a little bit of how pretty the leaves are here this time of year. And the reason we're on this ride this time of year is I am wearing underneath my climb jacket, which I have the uh, venting open so you can see, is my Kemimoto heated jacket. I got this almost a week ago and I have managed to... Well, got to be careful there. I have managed to get out on this is my seventh ride with it. I've been kind of playing hooky in the afternoons and trying to get riding by three o'clock because by 5.30 the deer are out and I don't want to be riding at 5.30. So what I've been doing is charging the battery in the jacket and then coming out for a ride. They're usually about an hour, hour and a half. I think last night was the longest. I rode for an hour to grab some dinner, left the uh, charger on for about a half hour while I had a sub and then rode home. So. The jacket stays warm for at least two and a half hours on the highest setting. I haven't actually tried the lower settings. Uh, my experience has been with the Kemimoto heated gloves that just put them on high and charge them when you get done riding. And I think if you ride the way I do, which is between an hour and a half and two and a half hours, the battery is going to be absolutely fine. I think three and a half hours would probably be pushing it. And this is in the 40s. When I get home from work, it is about 45 to 50 degrees. Then we come up here to look at the leaves. This is the Berlin Mountain. Temperature drops about 5 by the time we crest the mountain. So I'd say as long as you're in the low 40s, you're probably going to get three, three and a half hours out of the jacket. And if it's below that, I'd expect you'd get a little bit less. I do enjoy riding this time of year though. I mean, I can feel the season tightening up. I can feel that soon it will be really hard to ride, but we still have these nice near 50 degree days. But I will say, you know, 45 degrees, 50 degrees, it gets a little bit chilly riding. So having something like a heated jacket is fantastic. Well, there you have it. Those are my thoughts on the Kemimoto heated jacket. I think it's going to be a great base layer. It fits wonderfully. It stays warm for the length of time that I'm going to be riding in the cold. You could always get a battery if you feel you need a four hour ride in the cold weather. I don't really do that. I limit myself to one or two hours. And I think this is going to be a really good jacket to use. Well, if you stuck around, thank you very much. I truly appreciate it and take care.